Welcome back. We can use the information that we get from ChatGPT in order to create specific content for specific audiences. For example, we can take our qualified information and we can use it in order to create a specific outline that we can use in order to compose presentation content. For example, assuming that we were to give ChatGPT a specific command in order to give us an outline of some of the information that we have produced. And we would then give ChatGPT the commands that we want it to undertake. Once we have the content that has been generated by ChatGPT, we can then look for references. One of the things that we don't know is whether the information that we have is accurate. And so what we need to do is to be able to so what we need to do is we need to be able to search to determine from reputable sources whether the information that we have is accurate. What we can then do is we can ask ChatGPT to give us reference information for our qualified list. And so we are going to request that ChatGPT give us a list of references and where we can find the references. We are then going to click enter. Again, because one of the weaknesses, as stated by ChatGPT, is that there may be inaccurate information in scraping from the web, we can ask ChatGPT to give us specific web-based references that we can go to to verify any of the information that we have. And so we can give ChatGPT a specific command for those references and where we can find the references outside of those in books that have been published. And so we are going to use our list and we are going to ask ChatGPT to give us a list of web-based references. We are going to add in a qualifying command in order to ask for the specific URLs where we can find these references. And so once we have written our command, we can then click enter. So basically what we have now done is we have now created a system of references for the information that we have asked ChatGPT in order to retrieve for us. We have also mitigated the weakness of ChatGPT in seeking out these references. In another video, we will undertake the process of citation for your idea and research process. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.